task a tutorial for beginners hello everyone welcome back to another video i hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day i bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking about taskade and how you can automate your tasks using ai in the easiest most simplest way possible so to start your ai journey into you know actually automating and working your tasks what you're going to do is you're going to come over to taskade.com and over here you can come into their products and actually see you know all the things you can do. So there's Taskade AI that you can use for AI enhanced tasks. Then you can, you know, actually manage tasks and projects. Different types of tasks and projects can be added. Uh, it's quite uh, fairly similar to Notion, but I would recommend you Taskade over Notion more because Notion, although it does also have AI, but Taskade's AI works much more faster, efficiently, and much better. And it just gives you the best ways to do all the tasks in one dynamic workflow. You have different views and then you can actually use a chatting with AI option like ChatGPT to actually get help. So to start things off, what you're going to do is you're going to click on sign up for free and it just brings you here. So task aid, chat, organize and tasks. So once this loads up here, you're going to simply go ahead and sign up. I'm going to go sign up with an email of mine. So I'm going to add this over here. Then you're going to get a username. There we go. And now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, add in. There we go. So now you're simply going to click on sign up. And once you click on sign up, what that does is it takes you through the onboarding of Taskade. So here we go. Now you're going to add in all the necessary details that it asks you. Like, let's say I'm going to add my name over here. How? will you use Taskade? Okay, uh, go with whatever you're going with this. So right now I'm just gonna go with for work. What is your primary role? I'm gonna go with director. Which team are you on? Let's go with, um, let's go with marketing and click on continue. Create a workspace. So workspace name, let's go with um, John's CRM. I'm just gonna give it some random name and click on continue. And then finally, it starts asking us to invite our teammates. I'm going to go ahead and skip that. And you can download different apps for it, this as well. Obviously, we're going to be using a desktop software or browser software right now. But you can actually go ahead and download apps for them like Windows, Mac, iOS, Android. You can even get extensions for it if you want to. But I'm simply going to click on Get Started and it brings me here. So look at that, how incredible. So first of all, the first thing that you're gonna see is it's really beautiful and really nice and easy to get along with user interface, okay? That's one of the first and best things that you notice about Taskade. Then moving on, here it says generate project with AI. Enter your goal. So let's say I want a um, task list for, let's say task list for sales on a new product that I'm launching. Okay, you're gonna do that, click on enter. And once you do that, click on create project. So once you add all those things and click on create project, it takes you into the whole project creation process. You can actually take a tour where you're gonna get, uh, you know, you can edit project details from here. You can craft your first projects by adding in your commands or even use AI. You can toggle different project views, share your project, and then you can chat and collaborate with your AI. So let's first give our project a name. I'm going to call this sales. Okay. Sales for, let's say we're um, working on sales for a new phone that we launched. Sales for iPhone. Okay. Then first of all, you can click on space to start, you know, adding the actual AI prompts. So... Let's say I'm going to click on brainstorm and uh, you can type a prompt to brainstorm. So let's say I'm going to go with, um, let's go with something related to actual sales. So I'm going to click on sales. I'm going to click on brainstorm and it actually starts brainstorming different ideas for sales. So there you go. You can actually take all these sales um, uh, ideas and start inserting them. So there you go. So that's how you can actually start inserting different things for yourself and let's say i want to add in different commands here's your different commands you can create agents for yourself uh you can actually do things outside of ai as well you don't necessarily need to do everything with ai so you have research roundtable 
You can add in an AI assistant, subtask using AI. Uh, then moving on, if you come down here, look at that. Add your own bullets, paragraphs, add your own tasks, complete, uncomplete it, you know, whatever you want, you can do that. Then add due dates for your design, assign an actual person to this design if you want to. Moving on, you have task eight AI over here where you can, you know, get started with prompts. So you're first of all going to choose its persona. So let's go with marketing expert and the tone. Let's go with creative and you're going to go with how should I market my new iPhone for good sales. Okay, you're going to do that. Enter. And as you can see, to effectively market a new iPhone and drive good sales, it's important to consider a multifaceted approach that targets audience and highlights. And look at that. It gives us so many options to actually market it in, which is pretty incredible. So you can actually go ahead and gather all these ideas that Taskade actually brings you and the Taskade AI brings you. And uh, you can click on add to project and look at that. It actually goes ahead and adds different projects into your design. And once you're done with the design, you can go ahead and add different blocks as well so let's say i'm gonna add a let's add a check block over here so let's say iphone variant let's say you want to ask people which variant should you take out so let's say i'm gonna go with 14 14 pro 14 pro max so i'm just giving out examples of the type of things that you can do the type of working you can go with and obviously someone can go ahead and check these and once you've actually done this, then as I said, you have different views. So look at that. I have created different board views as well. And board views are pretty easy to add tasks in. So, you know, simply just scour through the different boards and add tasks for yourself. Then comes the calendar view where you can give yourself due dates for different tasks. Then you have your action view. Action view is a lot like your calendars view, but has a lot more options to mess around in. You have your mind map where you have different things linked and correlated with each other. So go ahead and make a mind map for yourself as well. And once you've done all of that, you can finally go ahead and click on share and start either inviting people to this workspace, adding, in, inviting people to this project or actually sending people this project. So yeah, that's the general idea of Taskade. So if you enjoyed watching this video all the way till the end, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making more for you. But yeah, that's the general idea of how we're going to work with Taskade in the easiest, most simplest way possible. And I would definitely recommend you to start using it right away right now and uh, just sign up for free to assign your tasks in the easiest, most simplest way using AI. So yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.